I feel like every other video, I'm claiming that a book made me cry. But this book genuinely, honestly made me cry. Like visibly cry in public. Possibly even more on the reread that I was doing for this video to write the notes. H is for Hawk by Helen MacDonald is a memoir of the months after her father's death and her subsequent decision to get herself a goshawk. She deals quite honestly with the loss of rationality and the emotions and the way that her world changed when her father died. And she does this in beautiful prose and immersive descriptions. She describes the goshawk in one part as beautiful like a granite cliff or a thundercloud. And the way that that portrays not only beauty but power and nature and beautiful things that can be f frightening but but special that's well it was a phrase that really stuck out to me she is an academic and sometimes in her in the book to me she seemed to take for granted knowledge of certain things her her knowledge of natural and british history is extensive and sometimes there are things that just she seems to just assume that people know this isn't to detriment to the no to the book though and for me i found it more interesting and her knowledge of hawks and falconry is never taken for granted aspects of falconry and hawks themselves are explained clearly So I learned a lot reading this book. I especially enjoyed the part quite early in the book where she was explaining how goshawks were reintroduced into the British countryside. And there is a paragraph where she claim, well not claim, where she says, their existence gives lie to the thought that the wild is always something in, untouched by human hand, hearts and hands. The wild can be human work. And this, this paragraph I find not comforting. <coughs> and I wouldn't say it gives me hope. But I just quite like the idea that we can change the world for better or for worse. We don't have to keep taking things away. We can bring things back. Into woven into the memoir is. Information on the writer T.H. White. He, he wrote a book about his own 
decision to train a goshawk and his own failures. Helen MacDonald writes, What you are reading is my story. It is not a biography of T.H. White, but White is part of my story all the same. And the sections where she talks about White and his experiences throughout his life, not just in terms of his falconry, mirror her own frustration with the hawk and her own feelings of isolation and grief following her father's death. Because he was an un- unhappy man in many situa- in many many ways. And obviously in that time following her father's death, she, she was unhappy and isolated and and dealing with a huge change that caused her to latch on to the hawk. Also interesting in the book is her experience as a woman in the predominantly masculine world of falconry and hawk training. She, MacDonald had been interested in, well, fascinated by falconry her whole life, ever since she was a very small child. And so sometimes the book talks about her very early experiences as a very young girl around the kind of men that do falconry. And it very briefly touches on how different she was to them. But it also seems as though she was welcomed in quite, quite well. So, it's a brief part of the book, but it's interesting all the same. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really enjoyed making it. Please like and subscribe, and please comment with books that you think I should do videos on. So far, I've been pretty much doing books that are my favourites, and I really would like an excuse to go to the library or the bookshop and start a new book that I haven't read yet. For more art from me, please follow my Instagram, which I will link in the description below. I also have an Etsy shop where you can buy original oil paintings and watercolour paintings. I also have a Patreon, which I would really love if you could support me on for original pieces of work and reference photos, work in progresses, and more fun interactions with me. Again, thank you so much for watching this video. This book is genuinely one of my favourite books, but I say that about all of them, so I have a lot of favourite books. I hope to see you again next Tuesday, where I will have a new video and then the Tuesday after that, and the Tuesday after that. Thanks again, and see you next Tuesday.